oh, so holy. You are holy, Lord of all. And, and as we sang and sang and sang, you know, I'm reminded of the everlasting song that we will sing in heaven. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Amen. Praise God. It's so wonderful that we can experience God. Our Christian life is talking about all experiencing God. Huh? Hallelujah. Praise God. This morning in the congregation, I, I salute uh, Brother Dominic Lee, huh? Sister Denise. Uh, I see um, Sister Tien. Uh, Brother Ganju Eng. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, Sister Megan Low and various ones of you, Joseph, you know, on, on the uh, saxophone. Huh? You know. Being a non-musician, I, I thought there was a clarinet. But it's a saxophone. But praise God. The church must be full of people rejoicing, praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Sing with all our hearts. Sing with our spirit connected to God. Hallelujah. With every kind of instrument, give Him the praise. Huh? Hallelujah. It's so wonderful. Huh? Praise God. Uh, this morning, I am uh, here to share the Word of God. And, and I pray that God will speak to us this morning. Lord, let your word speak to every one of us this morning as our hearts are ready for you. Let Jesus be exalted in all this. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. The title I want to share with us, when you, you take home, huh, is like regaining our ground now. Regaining our ground now. Okay, it's not later. It's not, not, you know, in a few months' time. Not next year, but you know, it's now. Okay, God's action is now. God is always in the present. Hallelujah. And the church is living now and is active now so that it will impact uh, many lives, you know, it, it, uh, impact the kingdom of darkness and proclaim the mercies of God uh, and bring souls to be saved. Uh. So regaining our ground now. Okay, praise the Lord. Uh. Glory to Jesus. Okay, now in Isaiah chapter 35, verse 3 to 4, okay, verse 3 and 4, it says, Strengthen the weak hands. And make firm the feeble knees, okay? So, we are talking about strengthening and firming up, okay? Strengthening and firming up. Today, there are many gyms open all over, okay? You will realize a celebrity fitness and all kinds of fitness, huh? all kinds of uh, gyms huh? for firming up the muscles, firming up the, the six-packs, firming up, you know, all, uh, you know, that, that is uh, in the human physique, but the church also needs to be firm up. Hallelujah. Before Jesus comes again, He is doing the work uh, to firm up the church, to strengthen the weak hands, uh, to make firm the feeble knees. And God is using it through the pastors. Hallelujah. To the ministers, to the speakers who are hearing the voice of God to equip the church in these days. Uh. So strengthen the weak hands. Hands speak about authority. Hands speak about action hands speak about the things we can do okay and uh, knees basically uh, are you know for our strength uh, for our strength for us to stand up every day from the bed for us to drive to church for us to go forth uh, uh, we need strong uh, legs strong knees uh. so god is talking about to the church okay to every one of us including us as ministers strengthen the weak hands if our hands are getting weak strengthen it Hallelujah. Amen. If our knees are feeling feeble, make it firm. Okay? Hallelujah. Verse 4. Say to those who are fearful-hearted. Today, in church, there are those who are bold-hearted. There are those who are fiery-hearted. And then there are those who are fear-hearted. But never mind. Everybody started, you know, uh, low. Like Gideon. He started from a fearful state until he became a great judge for the nation of Israel. Okay? Say to those who are fearful-hearted. Today, if you are fearful hearted, this message is for you and I. Okay? Be strong. Hallelujah. Do not fear. Do not continue to fear. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Whosoever did something against you, whosoever did something against the church, the Lord has vengeance to repay. Hallelujah. I mean, God says, vengeance is mine. Okay? Just do. Love me. Okay? Do the rest. Vengeance is mine. Don't take things into your own hands. The Lord says He will recompense for every deed, every action. Huh? He will come and save you. I like this part of the verse. He will come and save you. Hallelujah. He, the Bible didn't say He will come and condemn you. He will come and condemn you hey, for your lack of faith, for your fearful condition. He will condemn you more and more and more. No. He will come and save you. Uh, there's something. Uh, let's give the Lord a big hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, when there's a good point to say amen, you say amen. Huh? Hallelujah. When you, there's a good point to clap, you clap your hands for Jesus, huh? not for the speaker. Huh? Hallelujah. Praise God. Huh? Glory to Jesus. So, the Bible tells us, huh, 
Do not be fearful always. Yeah, sometimes be, be, be fearful, but do not be fearful always. Nah? Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, we have been reset by pandemic. The pandemic three and a half years ago uh, has reset a lot of things, uh, including the church, uh, how church is run and how business is run. You know, there are a lot of things have been reset by the pandemic. Okay, reset by the pandemic, and uh, these pictures are very familiar to us. Uh. Government requirement, you must go through first vaccination, second vaccination, and booster before you can go out of the country. Okay, so there has been a lot of reset. But I want to tell you, God is also doing a resetting for the church. Amen. Hallelujah. God is doing a resetting. Amen. He's resetting our lives. He's resetting our spiritual temperature. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Huh? Amen. Okay. So all these things were very familiar. Huh? Those days was uh, Delta, Lambda, Omicron, and now, huh? don't know what name already. Huh? <laughs> but I want to tell you, don't know the name of the virus. Know only one name. Know only one name. Know only one name. Know only one name. The name of? The name of? The name of? The name of? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Oh, the name Jesus in Hebrew. Yeshua. Yeshua. Jehovah is my salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time you mention Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. It's not a formula. What we pray in the name of Jehovah who saves. Saves us from? Coronavirus. Saves us from our dangers. Saves us from the devil trying to put bondage over us. Saves us from our business bankruptcy. If you are facing a business downturn, the Lord will save your business. Amen. He will save your investment. Hallelujah. Amen. You only need to know the name of Jesus and live for Jesus. He must, He must exalt it. Yeah. He must increase. Amen. We must decrease. Oh, but the trouble is, uh, there are some Christians, he must decrease, I must increase. That's where the problem is. That's where our business is shaky. Huh? Our relationships are not so good with people. You know? Our spiritual life is, mm, all right, mm, I'm still all right. You know? But he must increase. We must decrease. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The devil tried to increase himself. Look what happened to him, Lucifer. The Lord just kicked him down. Okay? Satan wanted to exalt himself. Whew, came down. He is zero. But we all in Christ, we are hero. Zero and hero, very close. The sound also very close. Zero, hero. I tell you, Satan, he was the chief archangel. Huh? Worship leading. Wow, fantastic. He wanted to exalt himself above the throne of God. Whew, he came down to zero. But we who have been zero, through Christ, we become hero. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big hand. Amen. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. It's wonderful to be alive. With all the pandemic, Russia-Ukraine war, all the uncertainties in life, and all the turbulence of the world. And this one is fresh news. I got on Friday. Today is Sunday, just two days ago. North Korea, already so poor a nation. Somehow they managed to rummage all their funds uh, and come up with nuclear attack submarine. Who are they going to attack? They're going to attack their neighbors. Uh, okay, uh. I tell you, poor nations should be feeding their people. Poor, pe poor nations should be rebuilding their nations. Why are they doing all these things? Uh? Uh, it's the futility of men. Uh, okay? So, the latest incidences in India, Manipur. I tell you, this news is suppressed. You cannot get this news in the open uh, channels, okay? You've got to go back to YouTube and you search latest Manipur news, okay? It has happened, okay, in Northeast India, in this state of Manipur. Humanitarian, yeah? Humanitarian ethnic crisis. Manipur is burning because of rivalry, because of, you know, a, 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 a land rights, because of special privileges, the metes, the majority, and the cookies, huh? okay? And I tell you, there are many, many Christians among them. Many, many Christians among them. But all these things are happening. Uh, all these things are happening, okay? So, uh, the world is coming to a place uh, where trouble seems to be more trouble, okay? Uh, tribulation is increasing, okay? But I want to tell you, my pastor friend, uh, Pastor Jekanabhan, okay? He has gone to India 99 times. He has been to India as a minister for 99 times. I've been to India 10 times, okay? Many times with him. 
We go to North India, South India, many places. Huh? Okay. So, two and a half months ago, he told me, John, my heart is burdened. I want to plan a trip, you know, and raise funds to bring relief to, to Manipur. And, and I said, you know, I tell you, uh, almost without praying, you know, <laughs> I said yes to him. My wife said, go, 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 go. Uh, I tell you, Manipur is burning. Okay. Um, more than 260 churches burn. More than 160 Christians have been killed, pastors also, you know. And then uh, 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 more than 60,000 people have been displaced. Uh, and there were more than uh, 400 relief camps all over. Uh. So uh, we, we were able to arrange, raise funds also from different churches, some churches from Saramban also, okay. Uh, three convoys, uh, convoy of three vehicles, uh, the, the Mahindra, the first one, and then the two lorries, uh, okay. We went to 10 camps, uh, okay. But before that, we went to preach, minister a special revival meeting to the Maytes, uh, the Maytes in the capital of Infal. 207 pastors came. These are the pastors, uh, I tell you, they are um, having their churches burnt, they're having their homes destroyed, they are uh, very, very sad. When we went to that meeting uh, from the airport, you know, straight away from the airport, they took us there already. Okay, uh, both myself and Pastor Nathan, we went to preach uh, in this place. And so, uh, what happened is that, you know, uh, without any singing, without any clapping, they were there to hear the preaching of the word. We basically preached the God of love. We basically preached about reconciliation in Christ. We basically preached about forgiveness. I tell you, in the two, two over hour meeting, uh, we preached, we preached, we prayed uh, uh, for them to reconcile. This meeting is a meeting of those uh, who are the majority metis, uh, Okay, They cannot meet the other minority group, uh, the, the cookies. Uh, okay, So we were there to bless them. Okay, And of course, Every one of those pastors receive an offering. The offering is from Malaysian Church, uh, from Malaysian Church. Uh, praise God, uh, glory to Jesus. So the following day, we went to the cookie area. The cookies are those uh, living on the hills uh, of Manipur. So, uh, you know, uh, every place we went, we brought rice, dal, cooking oil, food stuff, potatoes, eggs, mosquito coils, because also mosquitoes over there, uh, and then sleeping uh, materials. We prayed for the people in the camps. We prayed for them. Some of them cried. They lost everything. They lost their home. Some lost their husband, their child. You know, uh, so we, we prayed for them to forgive. We prayed for them to reconcile. So um, the, the the sleeping rolls uh, are those for those sleeping in the relief camps. The ten camps we went over the three days. Uh, you know, uh, to bless them, to tell them Malaysia, the Malaysian church is praying for you. The world is praying for Manipur for peace and reconciliation to take place. Uh. So uh, this is one of the typical camps. Uh. Many camps like this. Uh. Many camps like this. And um, we, we met the cookie people, okay, the pastors. And then so they, they are those disheartened, discouraged. If, if you see their faces, you will feel sad for them. Because why? They have lost their home. They have lost their farm. They have lost their future. Okay, so all of them, you know, have a, 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 a very sad uh, uh, disposition. Uh. But we want to praise God. Uh. We want to praise God that uh, we are able to bring some hope to them. So today, my brethren, regaining our ground now, can you regain your ground, you know, seemingly as you have lost something, uh, okay, in the last uh, pandemic time and subsequently after the pandemic, after COVID, uh, you know, uh, can you regain your ground? I have good news for you. Through Christ, we can regain. Amen. Uh? Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, let's give the Lord a big hand. Amen. God can restore it back to us. God can restore our passion. He can restore our zeal. Okay. So, you know, it uh, seems that all is lost, you know, with tears in our eyes. Oh, we have lost, you know. But I want to tell you, God is in the process of uh, restoring. Uh? Hallelujah. First, we must understand. We must rejoice without complaint. The church must rejoice. Amen. Must be a joyful church like our church. Amen. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. You agree or not? Amen. We must be a joyful church. When you come to church, you must uh, be full of the joy of the Lord. Don't complain about what has happened. I tell you, if you complain about what has happened, you know, it will only get worse. Uh. We must rejoice without complaint. In all that we do, we must rejoice. No matter what has happened, we must rejoice. Because in the end, Okay, the good will come out. Uh. Like our dear brother who shared about, it, uh, you know, uh, he, he accidentally threw away his mo mother's uh, golden earring, uh, you know, uh, in the tissue and finally found it. I, I tell you, he could have complained. He could have, he could have, uh, he could have, yeah, you know, uh, have a, uh, a lot of regret in his life and uh, he could have lost focus with the Lord. But I tell you, the Lord restored it to him. Hallelujah, my brother. It is a case of lost and found. Lost and found. I tell you, whatever you have lost, 
in Christ, you can find it back. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember Job, he lost, but he found it back. Amen. He found double portion, double fold. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So we must rejoice without complaint. Huh? First Thessalonians 5.16 says, rejoice always. Yeah. Rejoice always. Hallelujah. And the reason we can rejoice, I found a few reasons. Huh? In Psalm 28 verse 7, the Lord is my strength. Wow. The Lord is our strength. Huh? So we can rejoice. The Lord is my shield. Oh, yes, I will surely rejoice. And so my heart trusted in Him. Not uh, uh, my heart um, drew away from Him. No, my heart trusted in Him. Okay? Uh, Job said, though you slay me, yet will I follow you. Hallelujah. Uh, yet will I trust you. Okay? Uh, so then, when we trust in the Lord, we are helped. God helps us. God helps us in many, many ways. Uh, hallelujah. Unknown to us. After when God has helped us, then in retrospect, they say, oh, yes, the Lord has helped me and seen me through. Hallelujah. Just now we sang this, the, the, the song, Sister Denise and the team. Huh? This is amazing grace. Huh? The, the grace that has seen us through. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. It's the grace of God that sees us through. Hallelujah. So therefore, my heart greatly rejoiced. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiced. Hallelujah. Not only rejoiced, but greatly rejoiced. Hallelujah. Praise God. Like the worship team, they were singing, you know, uh, because they have encountered the Lord. Okay? And this is the, the important thing God is telling the church, you and I right now, in order to regain our ground now, the first thing we must do, rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice in the Lord. And the Apostle Paul says, I again say to you, rejoice. Huh? Hallelujah. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Okay, then... Secondly, we have to pray without ceasing. First one was uh, rejoice without complaint. Second one is pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Uh. Uh, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Uh, okay? To pray without ceasing. God also prepared the church, you know. Okay? All the way through the pandemic and all the way even after the pandemic, there's still Malaysia United Firewall, 24 hours pray, uh, worship and prayer, NECA prayer network. Rebuilding the Tabernacle of David, RTOD, eh? RTOD. And we have also global worship. Praise God. Global worship that's coming eh? <laughs> in two weeks' time. Oh, I tell you. you know, the, yeah, praise God. Right? Sister Denise and the team eh? from Saramban, combined team, we're going to go and, and worship the Lord. And many other churches are coming in 24 hours. Global worship. Hallelujah. Because all these things are happening in preparation for the bride of Christ. In preparation for every one of us. Okay? Because we are living in these last days. Huh? We do not know what's going to happen. Okay? For instance, our government. Change of government. Just like that. Huh? Okay? Happen. Okay? Just like that. Russia-Ukraine war. Like that. You know? Something else will happen. But we don't know. You know? But the Lord's coming could be just at the twinkling of an eye. Hallelujah. But church, you and I must be ready. Eh? You and I must be ready. Praise God. So, pray without ceasing. Pray for Malaysia. Okay? Pray for our country. Pray for Kerajaan Perpaduan, unity government. Kerajaan Perpaduan. Every moment, every news, uh, every day you're hearing, uh, there are somebody want to bring down the Kerajaan Perpaduan. <laughs> they want to uh, dismantle the government. I want to tell you, we must pray against that. Uh. Pray that Malaysia Madani, Malaysia will be... Uh, uh, you know, transparent, righteousness, justice, okay? Fairness and equity, all of these things. But sometimes when we pray, uh, we, we, we think that, oh, oh God, are you answering our prayer or not? Uh, recently, uh, just about one, one week ago, you have the DNAA. Wow. Last time we seldom hear of DNAA. Uh, we always hear of DNA. Uh, DNA we know, uh, deoxyribonucleic acid. Uh, all the doctors and medical people, science students will know Deoxyribonucleic acid in our chromosome, ah, in the genes. Yeah, we know. Then all of a sudden, DNAA. What is all this one? Ah, so I tell you, I don't mention that lah because it's not preaching about that today. But I tell you, all these things happening. We say, God, are you answering our prayer or not? We've been praying and fasting and so many prophets come and preach and uh, proclaim World Malaysia. Chuck Pierce came over, you know, John Molindi, huh? uh, Julius Subi, you know, uh, many other uh, 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 from Africa, Argentina, they have come, you know, but Malaysia is still, mm, what's happening? Keep on praying, hallelujah, amen, because we are in a warfare. We are praying for Malaysia to be better, transformed. But at the same time, the enemy is orchestrating, okay, from spiritual places, huh? not the enemies on the ground, from the spiritual places. They are orchestrating, you know, the destruction of the nations, okay? Huh? So my pray for Malaysia Madani, okay? Pray for social integration, that Malaysians will integrate with one another again. Amen. Hallelujah. All the races uh, will not talk about 
the capital R. Huh? Okay, but we'll talk about Malaysian. We are Malaysian. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. Remember also, when we pray, we must pray with fire in our words. Pray with fire in our words means you pray specifically. Pray with zeal. Pray with passion. Pray with the assurance knowing that our prayer will impact you know, the item that we've been praying for. Praying over Malaysia. Declare over Malaysia. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, uh, He's the King of Kings. Let His glory fill the earth as, as the waters cover the sea. Uh, hallelujah. So, Malaysia United Firewall, you know, uh, for, for every one of us, uh, you, you can pray. You can join in. Let our prayers, our petitions, our supplications always accompany with thanksgiving. Not our prayer and petitions and supplication accompanied with doubt, unbelief, Okay, and then uh, disheartenment, no. Let our prayers, petitions, supplications, all forms, all manners of prayer must be accompanied with thanksgiving even before the answer comes. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh. It takes time. God wants to prove His people. He wants to see us whether we are persevering in prayer or not. So let our requests be made known to God. Let our requests be made known to God. Okay, so my dear brethren, Pray without ceasing. Uh, pray without ceasing. In um, further platforms uh, like rebuilding the tabernacle, the tabernacle of David, uh, our church people are so very involved uh, in the diff- various platforms. Uh, okay, uh, so I want to proclaim a rebuilding in prayer. So when the church prays, when you pray, God is doing the rebuilding during the time of our prayer. Hallelujah. When you pray, in your spirit, uh, you pray in tongues with faith and assurance and focus uh, in your mind. You say, Lord, my, my prayer is joined with the prayer of the spirit. It's going to touch your heart. Hallelujah. Okay. Even Satan and all his demonic forces cannot decode our prayer. Okay, he doesn't know what we are praying for, but we are praying because we are connected with the Spirit. Go, Rabba Shanda, Rabba Shiko, Rabba Rabba Taya. Oh, Rabba Shanda, Rabba Hota, Rabba Shika, Rabba Ye. Oh, Ramadai. We are focusing, Hallelujah, on the spiritual uh, work of God. We are, we are, you are joining your prayer with the Spirit who helps us in our infirmity. He helps us in our prayer. Hallelujah, Amen. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. So when, when we pray, we are rebuilding during the time we are praying. Okay, so church, I'm here to speak the word of God. I trust the word of God will challenge your heart. Okay, that you will be more prayerful. You'll be more focused in your prayer. You, you, you will be more uh, directed in your prayer. So when, when we pray, we are like aiming. We're aiming the, the weapon, you know, spiritual weapon. Uh, pew, it goes there. We aim directly. Pew, it, it goes there. Okay, we're not scattering our prayer. No, we're not. We're aiming specifically. Amen. Eh? Hallelujah. Okay, our, our weapons of warfare are not carnal, but are spiritual, mighty to the tearing down of strongholds. Amen. Demons tremble at one name. Demons tremble not at the name of any prophet or apostle or, or great man or evangelist of the century, but demons tremble at one name. Demons tremble at one name. Demons tremble at one name, and that name is? That name is? Looks like this side people believe more. <laughs> this side the sound less. Uh. No, I'm uh, just kidding. Demons tremble because Jesus, Jehovah is salvation. Yahweh is salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Not any of the others, religious founders. I don't want to mention name. Uh. You have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All of them, the dead bodies are in the ground. Become dust and ashes. But there's one, one absolute name. The name that's above every name. The name of the Son of God. The name of the Lamb of God. God in, for, for, in, in foundation, before the foundation of the world, has determined to bring that name to this earth. And that name is Jesus. That, that name is Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. The anointed one. Huh? Christos. The anointed one. He is the only one anointed. Not the devil. Not Satan. Satan was mistaken, sadly mistaken. <laughs> okay, so go to the Lord. Huh? Hallelujah. Praise God. There's also 24 hours. Oh, somebody can help me forward. Ah, okay. There's all also 24 hours declaration. Huh? Okay, yeah. 24 hours declaration in the RTOD. Okay. Jehovah God is my salvation. Like in my salvation, he brings growth and victory. This is the month of Gad, 
my month of success and victory. We can claim it. Huh? I'm a child of God, part of a family connected to the family of God. I know how to be humble. I know how to be rich. I know how to be full, to be hungry, to have more than to be in need. To be in any situation, I have learned the secret. Jehovah God is visiting me, helping me in my work, my ministry, changing my life. The Lord God will show mercy and lead me out of the predicament. Amen. Jehovah God desires to be close to me and I want to draw close to God and be filled with all His goodness. I choose to enter into the rest and power of God and renew my strength. God has given me great ability to stand up in the face of conflict and become a person who can bear the burden. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Amen. We pray, we can declare. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. Together with NECA platform, okay? Urgency of the times. Church, if we don't pray now, there's no more time, okay? Get on to pray, okay? Pray because of the urgency of the time, okay? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. When Jesus said that, now there was more than 2,000 years ago. How much more after 2,000 years, the kingdom of God is in very, very close proximity to us now, huh? Amen. So thirdly, we are to love without barriers. Love without conditions. Love without looking at the skin and colour and the race, okay? Huh? Acts chapter 2, verse 42 to verse 45 huh, is basically the Christian mission, okay, uh, of the church. Huh? So those 3,000 who were saved after Peter's preaching, they continued daily devoted to the apostles' teaching, which is very good, praise God. Huh? Every church has the teaching. Bible study, home cell, uh, by uh, Pastor Dr. Kwan and various other cell group teachers, okay? The leaders of the church will teach the doctrine, the true word of God. Then fellowship, with one another. Fellowship is integrating with one another, okay? Mainly through home cells and projects uh, that we can do together. Breaking of bread, eating together, communion also, and to prayer. So, my dear brethren, as a Christian, these are some of the four basic things we should do, okay? As a Christian, in every church, even I speak now or even online, okay? Those who are hearing, okay? These are four basic essential things a Christian must do, okay? Uh, we, we, we want to follow the Lord, uh, okay? We want to follow Him totally. Okay, they divided and sent goods uh, to those who had need. How come they divided? How come they sold their possessions? How come they sold their lands? They, they didn't sell all their land, okay? They sold their lands, uh, their surplus lands. They sold their surplus houses. They sold their surplus stock and share, perhaps, lah, okay? And then they saw the need. I tell you, when you pray, when you follow the Lord, when, when you ask God, God, open my eyes that I may see you. Open my eyes that I may see your glory. When God opens our eyes, will we be willing to say, yes, Lord, you have blessed me already so much. I, I, I can't finish all of this. I see the needs around. That's where God will activate you. That's where you can, you can, you can say to God, God, let me be a good steward. I will obey you, okay? So they sold their possessions, they sold their land, they sold their surplus, okay? And they divided and they sent goods to those who had need. So Jesus says, in this world, the poor will always be there, okay? So uh, there will be those who are a bit unfortunate, okay? But I want to tell you, God is using the church to meet the needs of this world. Would you say amen? Hallelujah, amen, huh? praise God. So we need to love God wholeheartedly. Love God wholeheartedly. And love people fervently. Eh? Fervently means uh, with zeal and purpose. Eh? Okay? Uh, want, wanting to, to see something good eh? out of uh, their, their lives. Eh? Okay? Praise God. Glory to Jesus. So during the pandemic time and even after the pandemic time, eh, our church has been focused on uh, helping out the, the Ora Asli churches. And even uh, in some of the places we went, you know, the, the, the non-Christians eh, from the other group, okay, they also asked us, we also gave. We not only gave to the believers, uh, we give to the others who also requested for it, uh, okay? So, to see the needs, uh, okay? So, uh, there are those from our church who gave, there are those who set their time to, to do the packing, and there are those uh, like us and some of the teams, we went forth uh, and, and, and declare the blessing of the Lord, okay? We say, all oh, this is from the Lord. All oh, this is from uh, the Lord Jesus Christ through our church. Uh. So, we went to different, different uh, places, different, different states, uh, all the way to Pahang, 
uh, and uh, also uh, we went on the boat to Tasik Chini, and uh, we're still going there. All right, uh, we went to um, uh, Kelantan, to Guam Musang, Kuala Betis, and those places where the timber logging camps are going on. Uh, okay, so various places we go. So it's with the joy of the Lord that we could uh, do it. Uh, praise God. Uh. So we mobilize our church team. So when church, sermon, life uh, assembly motivate and plan, I tell you, you pray. Don't don't just pray. Pray and give, and then you go. Will you say amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Uh. Amen. Okay. Uh, so, you know, uh, a short, short clip will encourage you how the, 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 they, they went for the first time, how they still continue to go. The various people who have gone with us in the different teams uh, across the drains uh, during the flood time, they, they still are going because why? They, they say, Lord, it's so worthy to, to be able to go. Uh. Praise God. Uh. Glory to the Lord. Uh. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. So during the flood time, you remember November 2020, yeah? November 2020, there was a severe flood. Our church brethren, uh, those who got furniture shop, they, they, they offered to give their uh, mattresses, they offered to give their pillows, uh, various others gave uh, funds to, to purchase items. Uh, so we gave okay, to different, different uh, families. Uh, gas stove also, okay, because there's another brother who, who has a factory, uh, produces gas stove, gas stove, electric fans, rice cookers. Uh, so he said, Pastor, I have donated, I, I set aside 30 gas stove. So if the people in the flood, uh, they need it, uh, they can use it. Uh. Okay, so thank God, you know, that, that people, they, uh, there were those who were touched, they gave. Uh, and then there are those who are willing to go to convey the love of God. Uh, so we were able to also bring uh, just before the flood uh, of December 2021, this uh, the following year, okay, we brought it to the church, and one week later, the church was flooded. And this person who's carrying uh, in the flood, uh, you know, is Pastor Ramim. Uh, Pastor Ramim, he pastors the church in Putrajaya, okay. So uh, during the flood time, he was able to bring the food for his church members. Uh. So how they brought the food, uh, the rice uh, that, that we supplied, they brought it by. Uh, a float, nah. they brought it by float to the different homes. Uh, I, I want to say, praise the Lord. Nah. They, they, they were still helping their people nah, in, in the midst of all this uh, uh, turmoil. Nah. Now, fourthly, in regaining our ground, okay, we must build without delay. It is now. We must build without delay huh, uh, now. Okay? Now, in Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 30, God says, I look for a man in their midst. God is always looking for a man or a woman. He's always looking for a man, a woman, okay? If he cannot find a man, a woman, he'll look for a small boy who has five loaves and two fish. If he can't find a small boy, he'll look for a donkey, okay? The donkey whom Jesus, the King of Kings, entered Jerusalem by sitting on the donkey. So God is always looking for someone. He's looking for someone in SLA. He's looking for someone who is even on the line, online in the, in the FB Live or whatever platform we're on, okay? He's always looking for someone. You, you, have you wondered why there are many women missionaries? God w was looking for a man, but he couldn't find a man. But many women responded. Many women responded to the mission field. That's why they became great missionaries, pioneer missionaries uh, all over the world. So God looked for a man in their midst. Who will build the wall before me, God says, on behalf of the land that I should not destroy it, but I found none. God says, I'm looking for a man to build a wall before me, on behalf of the land, the land means the nation. The land means the people. The land means uh, the multitude, okay? Huh? But I couldn't find anyone. No one was available. No one was willing, okay? So verse 31, Therefore, therefore, because I found no man, therefore I found no man, I have poured out my indignation on them, and I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. So my dear brethren, may God find us ready, okay, to build, Amen. Build together with your pastor. Amen. Eh? Build together with Pastor Philip, uh, Dr. Philip Kwan. Okay? Build together with the church vision. Okay? Don't, don't uh, 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 discard this. Uh. Join your hands together. When, when we join our hands together, we are united. We can do great things for the Lord. Hallelujah. Build without delay. Praise God. Now this picture I, I show to you. Uh, it's just two days ago from my pastor friend in Kuching. Okay? He, he posted this meeting uh, in Kuching. Uh, okay, uh, uh, big revival meeting. God is preparing His church in Sabah, Sarawak, Malaysia, and the rest of the world who are present in this meeting. More than 40,000 people came. More than 40,000. Let's give a big hand. Amen. They came. They came because 
Malaysia is in a very urgent situation. Malaysia, okay, Sabah, Sarawak, Malaysia is in a in, in you know uh, in a turning point of 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 uh, the events of the world, events of uh, God's plan. Okay, so Dr. Mulindi, okay, Pastor Philip Mentofa from Indonesia, okay, and many servants of God. They came. They came with one purpose to pray for not only Sabah, Sarawak, but Malaysia. Okay? So they joined together to build the atmosphere of prayer. So my dear brethren, very important for us to build and build the atmosphere of prayer. Build and build the atmosphere of worship. Uh, build and build the atmosphere of the hunger for the word of God. Okay? Build the atmosphere of prayer. Okay? Build the atmosphere of personal repentance. Okay? So we must be those uh, whose hearts are tender before God. Would you say amen? Amen. We don't want to have a, a heart of stone. A heart that is unmovable, but we must have a heart that's tender before God. Yesterday night in our church service, uh, as the worship was going on, uh, I sang and sang, I was singing about the mercies of God. Uh. Uh, I am a man that seldom cry. Okay, most men will agree, I uh, will seldom cry. Okay, huh? But I'll tell you, yesterday there were tears in my eyes. Oh, I tell you, and, and, I'm, and I was on the front row. Okay, in the church, and all the people are ah, singing, oh, worshiping the Lord. You know, ah, I just, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord, you have uh, forgiven me. Thank you, Lord. Uh, uh, f- f- uh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Forget not all his benefits. Wow, oh, I tell you, when I sang that and sang, and the song kept singing and singing, going around and round and round. So when the songs keep going round and round, we are building the atmosphere. We are building our entrance into God's presence. We are moving in with God. We are going closer and closer and closer with God. I tell you, there were tears in my eyes. Even like just now, when, when we sang, you know, uh, my, my hands, my feet also uh, becoming sweaty because of the presence of God. So we must build and build and build, okay? And most we are prayer, personal repentance. We all need to repent, every one of us, including we as ministers, okay? We need to humble ourselves before God because we are smaller than a speck of dust. We are smaller than a speck of dust. God is all great and almighty, yeah? Hallelujah. Praise God, okay? We need to repent on behalf of our land. We need to repent because why? Our nation, now we are talking about Malaysia. We are sons of Malaysia, Okay, born in Malaysia, bred in Malaysia, raised up in Malaysia. We know Malaysia history more than anything. So we must pray for our land. That God will be merciful to our land. Hallelujah. Amen. Eh? Because of what has happened, oh, and still happening even right now, we need to come in unity, repent on behalf of our land. Eh? Uh, we also need to shepherd the flock. Every one of us, we are a shepherd. If you are a cell leader, you are a shepherd of 10 or 15 people in your cell group. Okay, you provide nurture, care, concern, prayer, teaching the word of God. Okay? So we need to shepherd the flock of God. Strengthen them by visiting them. Uh, we, we also visit our different members. Huh? Okay, huh? Those who are still uh, back at home, you know, they're, they're not yet coming back to church. We are visiting them. Uh, we, we have Zoom calls with them. Uh, Zoom, Google Meet, WhatsApp call, okay? Uh, so, uh, it's very, very important. So, God is preparing the pastors also. Uh, all these uh, various pastors, uh, uh, Dr. Chiwing Chi is also there, uh, okay? Uh, from SIBKL, okay? Uh, so, many other pastors there. Why? They want to be impacted, want to be ministered by the Word of God, and then they will go back to their church and, and continue to share it to their congregation. Uh, hallelujah. Praise God. So, we must build without delay. Say with me, we must build. Without delay, we must build. Without delay, hallelujah, amen. Everyone doing our part, then we can build uh, uh, our strength. Uh, again, uh, we can strengthen uh, our hands uh, and strengthen our feeble knees. Uh. Okay, in Numbers chapter 16, verse 48, uh, the sons of Korah's rebellion. Uh, uh, rebellion has all the time been in the history of uh, uh, the, the church, okay, and the history of the believers, la, even among the children of Israel. La, okay? So the rebellion was against Moses and Aaron. Thus God sent a plague until it stopped when Aaron burnt incense, in other words, offered prayer, la, intercession, la, and stood between the living and the dead. So my dear brethren, we can stand in the gap, okay, we can stand in the gap between the living and the dead. So pleading for God's mercy over our land, pleading for the life or the soul of someone who needs to be saved. Someone who perhaps is in the ICU, okay? Huh? okay? Uh, we need to plead before uh, the, the Lord uh, for the life of the person. Uh. So remember, okay, God will hear prayer and intercession. 
when it comes from a pure and contrite heart. Will you say amen? Amen, eh? hallelujah. So remember, God is looking for a man or a woman, okay, to stand in the gap between the living and the dead. So we want to stand in between uh, uh, our nation and between God, okay, so that we can pray and intercede for Malaysia. Build a wall of prayer and intercession. Okay, it's very, very important. Every church must have prayer intercessors. Uh. Prayer intercessors will uphold the church, okay, and this will be those who will pray and uphold, they will continue to pray and persevere and prevail until, you know, they see the result. Hallelujah. I mean, praise God. May you be found as one of the prayer intercessors. Uh, prayer intercession uh, is a very important ministry. Okay? It is a ministry that is not in the forefront, but it's a prayer ministry in the closet. Okay? It's a prayer ministry that upholds every ministry uh, okay? uh, of, of the Lord. Uh. Hallelujah. Praise God. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 14 to 16, uh, it says, Do all things without complaining and disputing. Why does Paul have to tell the Philippian church? Because the Philippian church, even though it was a strong church, a powerful church, uh, okay, there were still who did it, did the things, but with complaining and disputing. So my, my dear brethren, I encourage you, I plead to you as a pastor, from a pastoral heart, okay, when you do all things, no complaining, no disputing. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Huh? Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Amen. Praise God. Believe in the vision of the church and then you go and flow with the vision of the church. Involve yourself. Activate yourself. Serve. Find a place you know, where you can fit in. Huh? Okay. No more complaining and disputing that you may become blameless and harmless. Wow. Blameless and harmless. Okay. We are supposed to be blameless, harmless. Okay. Blameless and harmless. Children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation. I don't need to mention further, okay, this generation is crooked, okay, perverse. What is wrong, they say is right. What is right, they say is wrong, okay, mm, that kind of thing, okay. So, among whom you shine as lights in the world. So, you and I continue to shine for the Lord. Will you say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. The pandemic, all the fears uh, of uh, what's happening in the world, political situation, turmoil, you know, brought a lot of disappointment to the people, but I'll tell you, continue to shine. Even though all these things have tried to dim our light, I tell you, now's the time to ignite again, reignite again. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? Praise God. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Ah, hallelujah. You're going to shine as lights in the world. And at the same time, holding on to the word of life. Holding on to the gospel of salvation. Holding on, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? Okay? Amen. Praise God. Be a great witness for the Lord. Be a great minister for the Lord. Be a powerful servant of God. Be one who will contribute greatly to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Remember, Jesus is coming back. He's coming back very soon. He's actually coming very soon. Huh? In Revelation chapter 22, verse 10 to 11, He said to me, He said to John the Apostle on the island of Patmos, Do not seal the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. That's 2,000 years ago. Huh? Now even more. The time is nearer now. Verse 11. Then Jesus said, huh? He who is unjust, take a note, huh? let him be unjust still, till the end. Okay? He who is unjust. Huh? He who is filthy, let him be filthy still to the end. The end of the world, the end of time. Okay, huh? He who is righteous, uh, this one, this is what we want to focus on. He who is righteous. Everybody say, he who is righteous. He who is righteous. Let him be righteous still, till the end. Hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> okay. And then, uh, he who is holy, say holy. 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 Oh, let him be holy still, till the end. Hallelujah. Amen. Whoa. It's important. It's powerful. The Lord says, those who want to carry in the evil way, let them, let them, let them, let them, let them carry on the evil way until the end. They want to be unrighteous, unrighteous, unrighteous. Just let them, let them, let them carry to the end. But he wants to be righteous. The Lord says, be righteous until the very end. Hallelujah. Amen. And you, those who want to be holy, like all of us, we want to be holy. Amen. Holy till the end. Because why? Without holiness, we cannot see the Lord. We cannot even see Him. No way. Okay, because the Lord our God is a holy God. Huh? Verse 22. Okay, this is the one uh, after verse uh, 10 and 11 onwards. Uh, 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 verse 12. Uh, and behold, Jesus says, I am coming quickly and my reward is with me to give to everyone, to give to everyone, every one of us according to his work, according to his work. 
So the Lord will reward everyone, uh, okay? According to our work, how we have lived for God, okay? Praise God, uh. okay? I'm going to conclude very fast. Rejoice without complaint. Pray without ceasing. Love without barriers. Build without delay, uh. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus, uh. So we are living uh, not just in the last days, uh, but we're living in the very last hour, okay? We are living in the very last hour. Look up and see the salvation of the Lord, huh? Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? Praise God. Glory to Jesus. I trust we have heard the word of God this morning. Amen. Okay. Through my sharing, we must hear the word of God. Huh? Glory to God. Let's stand to our feet right now. Uh, I'm going to ask our worship team uh, to, to come and lead us in the song. Think about his love. I think it's good. Huh? Think about his love. So as we think about his love and sing it out, so everybody sing it out, okay? Sing it unto the Lord, okay? Uh, the worship team will lead us, but we want to sing it as unto the Lord, huh? okay? Think about his love, think about his uh, greatness, huh? hallelujah. Praise the Lord, amen. Of our Father's love. 
Hallelujah. Lord, we want to thank you. Today we came to church to meet you. Today we came to church to honor you, to spend these two hours of our day. On the Lord's day, oh, to remember your goodness, your great love, and your mercies over our life. Thank you, Lord. You brought us through all these years that we have followed you. You have not failed us, even though we have failed you many times. You have not loosened your grip over our hand, yet many times we have loosened our grip on you. Lord, you have not forgotten us or forsaken us a single moment, but yet many times we have not thought about you. Lord, today in church, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. That we can regain our ground now. We can regain our passion now. We can regain our prayer life now. We can regain our love for you, loving you wholeheartedly and then loving people, our neighbors, fervently. Not just with lip service, but Lord, from a pure heart. Lord, we thank you today, this morning. We've been blessed in your presence. We've been blessed in the worship. Our lives have been transformed, changed. We have been brought closer to you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, indeed, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, indeed, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, indeed, O oh God. Hallelujah. We want to rejoice without complaint. We want to pray without ceasing. We want to love without barriers. And we want to build without delay. Dear Lord, we thank you for being us this morning. Bless us with your peace, your joy, your protection. Lord, we are determined to live for you, determined to be committed brethren of this church, Saramban, Life Assembly. We are part of this church, a strong church, a visionary church, Saramban, Life Assembly, bringing life to the people around us, bringing the life of God to the community, transforming the decaying, breaking down community, the community of abundance through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. We ask your blessing upon each and every one of us over here. The blessing of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon every one of us here. And for those of our brethren who are online, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you to the worship team. Eh? Hallelujah. Praise God. Dr. Kwan, praise God. Now, brother and sister, those who need prayer can come forward. Otherwise, may the love of Christ, grace of God, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us. Make sure you greet each other before you go. There is a fellowship refreshment outside. Don't hurry to go home. Let uh, fellowship with each other. God bless everyone. I'll see you again next Sunday. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you.